Welcome back. The nation's most advanced fleet of weather satellites is about to get an upgrade. Later today, the fourth and final installation of NOAA's GOES-R series will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The new satellite, named GOES-U, will join the fleet that helps keep us safe here on the ground and in space. Now, welcome NOAA expert Brian Hall, live from Cape Canaveral, where GOES-U will launch in just a few hours. So, Brian, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. So what is the GOES-U mission and why is it important? So as you mentioned, GOES-U is the fourth and final in the GOES-R series of satellites. The GOES-R series of satellites is our, our nation's geostationary weather satellite system. It provides around the clock uh, imagery as well as weather data that allows us to predict routine weather as well as those severe weather events. Okay, so that's very helpful for someone like me as well. Now, can you tell us about the new instrument on board that goes you that will be focused on space weather from the sun? Yes, we're very excited to host the compact coronagraph or C-Core instrument. As you mentioned, that instrument's gonna focus on the sun. What it will do is give us essentially an eclipse of the sun every 30 minutes. So it blocks out the interior of the sun, looks at the sun's outer boundary, the corona, and we're really focusing on predicting coronal mass ejections. And why is that important to us? Here on Earth, that can affect our power grids, it can also disrupt communications, whether it's cell phones, radio frequencies, or uh, GPS systems. And in space, it can disrupt satellite communications, actually cause damage to satellites, and it can be harmful to our astronauts in space. Well, that sounds like a very important uh, piece of the puzzle. Now, here in our area, we're particularly concerned about wildfire and smoke monitoring and tracking. How will GOES-U help forecasters better predict those types of extremes? So the GOES-R series has imagery that allows us to detect hotspots. Oftentimes, we're able to detect hotspots before those uh, potential wildfires are reported to emergency authorities. So the imagery will allow us to uh, predict or uh, detect rather uh, hotspots around an acre in size. Uh, we can watch those and see how they progress, how they spread, as well as the, uh, the smoke plumes that come off of those. And that's important to the first responders, whether they're attacking from the ground or the air, really knowing how the fire is spreading and how the smoke is spreading allows them to plan uh, to put the fires out. Wow, that sounds really incredible, especially because I like to fill in my viewers about air quality and kind of how that smoke plume is looking to change. And a lot of that is basically, you know, this is what we think could happen, but we're not exactly sure. So that actually sounds really revolutionary. What are you most excited about with this Goes You launch? So really it's twofold. I'm, I'm very excited that we're launching the fourth and final. So we're able to continue the Goes R series mission into the 2030s. And then on this particular mission, I'm very excited about the C-Core instrument and uh, that coronagraph and what we will be able to learn about our sun from that instrument status. Thank you so much for being with us, Brian. We really appreciate everything that you told us about this morning.